good, YouTube? It's your boy Ant back with another one. As y'all can tell by the title and the thumbnail, I'll be giving y'all boys a shoe collection. Mind you, I'm not a sneakerhead like crazy. Like, I don't know all the names of the shoes, but I know the shoes. So, yeah, man, we're going to catch y'all when I grab the first shoe. So, we got the first shoe right here. These are my human races. Don't know the exact ones. I got these about, uh, I want to say about a year and a half ago. I got these and I got like, Two other pairs of dunks, all in the same day, cause they was on sale, man. I caught a good deal for these. If y'all know, y'all know how much human races reach, um, you know, retail for. But I got cut these for like fifty percent off, bro. It was good little steal. But yeah, I got these and two pairs of dunks. They comfortable, and yeah, man. I don't really know too much to explain with these. You know, they. Nice, comfortable every day shoe that you can wear. All right, next up we got here is these red Jordan 6s. I don't remember the name of them. I know I did get these uh, either at the end of sophomore year or just the start of the uh, junior year. These boys ran me, I think, about 200, I think. I wear these a lot. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I wear these a lot. These are my, one of my favorite shoes because I got a lot of red outfits. So, and red is one of my favorite colors, if y'all didn't know that. All right, next up is the 75th Anniversary Dunks. Told y'all I wear red a lot, so y'all gonna see a lot of red shoes. I got these actually very recently. I traded my AirPods for these. Kind of crazy, right? Yeah. My homeboy, he wanted these AirPods, and he told me he had these Dunks for me. So I was like, come on with it, let's do it. But yeah, I don't really know how much these retail for, but yeah. I'll probably pop them up on the screen. Like, each shoe I show, I'll probably pop it up on the screen show y'all. All right, next up, man, we got these Versace runners, man. I wear these all the time, man. These mugs are so comfortable. They light. Not too, too, too expensive. And, uh, yeah, man, I wear these mugs all the time. Like, if I can't find nothing to wear, I'm throwing these on. They, you know, practical, you know, designer, comfortable, light, and... Next up is these dunks. I believe this is, I don't remember what college these are. But I know they made a lot of dunks based off colleges, and I know this was one of them. I just don't remember what these are. Like I told y'all earlier, I got these when I bought those uh, those human races. I got these and one more pair of dunks all in the same day because these all, they was all on sale. So I was like, can't miss out on these. But these mugs is comfortable. They kind of heavy. And I don't really wear my dunks a lot. I do, but I don't. I need to start wearing these ones more. I ain't wore these probably in about a month and a half. All right, so this is the other pair of dunks I got with the previous dunks in the human races. I got these two. We All these in the same day, for real. These ones, I wore these ones a little bit more than I wore the other ones. But, yeah, I really don't got a lot of stuff to wear with them, as y'all can see. This is like a weird tan color slash like gold color. but. These mugs is comfortable. They light, not light, but they kind of heavy. But you know, if you're an athlete man or somebody who like to wear comfortable shoes, I'm 90% sure you got a pair of 270s, bro. So y'all can tell they all red. I love red. These are my running shoes. They comfortable. They light. Got nice heel support. Any boxers, y'all looking for some some running shoes? Grab your pair of 270s, bro. I promise you, they pretty good in price. Super light, as you can see. Look, they good on your feet. They just real nice. All right, so these right here is my Giannis's. Giannis onto the Kumbos. Some more running shoes or hoop shoes, however you want to put it. I run in them. I'm a, I hoop here and there, but I'm mostly running them. These are another good running shoe for athletes. If you know, if you want to get like, want to get you a couple miles in, you don't got nothing to wear. Grab your pair of these or the two seventies. These was probably even better in price. I think these was about 80 to 90. And yeah, man, I, I just, I bought these really because I like the colorway. Like, I ain't, you never really see some shoes that's green, blue, and pink. And they different, you know, I want to stand out when I'm running past people, you know. These right here, man, is a classic shoe that I absolutely obliterated and I'm sad about. And my dad cussed me out for months about. These right here was made back in 2014 or 2012. These is the OVO 12s. These mugs retail at about fifteen hundred, I believe. And I had these a few years ago, and I used to wear them every day. And 
as a young kid, you know, you dumb, you stupid, you make stupid decisions, and you, you know, you do stupid stuff in them. And I regret it every day. I'm going to end up taking these to the shoe doctor real soon. But these definitely are rare. That's why I didn't get rid of them because they rare. I'm taking these to the shoe doctor and probably going to sell them or probably just keep them because they keep going up in value. Like a few years ago, they was at 1200 Now they're at 1500 So I'm probably going to take these to the shoe doctor, get them nice again, and these I'm selling these probably or just keep them. But, yeah, these was the Drake collab OBO 12s. All right, next up right here is some more comfortable designer shoes that I wear pretty often. These are the uh, Sneaker Project Giuseppe's. They real comfortable. They look, you know, they look, they look expensive. They really not that expensive. Um, they comfortable. They light. I really love these. My dad gave me two pairs of these. I got another red pair. I'm gonna show y'all. But it's not too much to say about these, man. They just real comfortable and nice, comfortable designer shoe. All right, y'all. Next up, we got the pandas, the high top ones. Uh, the high top panda dunks. I wore these a lot, man. As y'all can see, they kind of dirty, but. I'm probably going to clean these more. I got to clean my shoes, y'all. I ain't going to lie. My dad be telling me all the time. I just be forgetting. But these shoes, it's a lot of controversy about these. Like, um, people, a lot of people be saying, like, they don't really like the high tops. I personally like them. And, you know, you can wear, like, some, you know, some jeans. You wear them over it, cover up this part. I think it look good. But I think they good, man. They, they not the most comfortable shoe in the world. I ain't going to lie. They really be kind of sliding. Probably got to get a size smaller or something. But. They cool shoe, man. I like them because they different. All right, next up, we got the red pair of the other Sneaker Project Giuseppe's I showed y'all. These ones, same thing, really. These ones just got a little different. These ones is leather and glossy. These ones, you know, stand out a little bit more. I wore these ones more because, you all know, as I said multiple times in this video, my favorite color is red. So, yeah, man, these, you know, pretty good in price designer shoe. You could wear it with anything. You know, you might want to put a suit on. You could throw these on. Trust me. You want to wear some street wear, you could throw these on too. All right, next up, we got another classic shoe. These right here is the Jordan 2 Chicago's, I want to say. I don't really know. I told you I'm not a sneakerhead, but my pops ended up giving me these because he didn't like how they fit on his feet. And another controversy about these, a lot of people like the low tops better. I really like these ones better. The low top ones look like, like some boat shoes. If y'all know what I mean. But, yeah, man, these was a gift from my pops. He gave me these because he didn't like how they fit. And, yeah, another red shoe. I told y'all, I love red. And um, these pretty comfortable. They just kind of heavy on your feet, like Air Forces. If y'all ever wore a pair of Air Forces, y'all know. But, yeah, there's ain't really too much to say about these. It's another classic shoe that, you know, OGs wear. I wear them because, you know, I be switching them up. All right, we got another pair of Jordan 6s. These are the infrared 6s. Uh, I got these when they first, first ever dropped. Y'all can see they yellow in. They was originally ice white. I don't know how to get them back ice. I ain't going to lie. If y'all know how, let me know. But I don't really wear these a lot. I had them at my old house in Detroit. That's why I got some dust on them. I kept these. I don't really wear these because, as y'all can tell, the red on here, man, it's a funny looking red. Like, it's hard to find something that match with these. I usually just wear it with this one hoodie I got. But, yeah, man, these is another, you know, OG shoe. I think these are made, like, 2019, I want to say. Something like that. It's recent by my mommy got me these. Shout out to Cam. She got me these New Balances in Detroit. These mugs are so comfortable. They clean. They like a perfect all-around shoe. Like, you can run in these. I'm not running in them, personally. I wear these for style, but, yeah, man. New Balance prices has been going up crazy. These are, like, 150 New Balance's first drop, you get some of these for, like, 70 80 Now you got, you know, you're going to spend at least 150 trying to get you a pair of these. And, yeah, man, they just a great all-around shoe. All right, we got these right here. These are the High Top Air Forces. I believe the made these for Patrick Ewing. Or uh, the New York Knicks. I know it was for the New York Knicks. But, yeah, my dad gave me these. I never wore them because I don't really know what to wear these off. I never wore high top Air Forces or never had a pair. Y'all let me know what I should style off these. And I just like them because, you know, this orange is real bright. They stand out and they different. 
told y'all I like high top shoes and yeah man. Alright, I believe this is the last shoe. This is my Allen Iversons white and blue. I don't even know the names of them. But yeah, these are another classic shoe. You know you gotta keep a couple pairs of classics in the collection. I wear these here and there a couple times. But uh these was also another shoe that my pops gave me. And these is these mugs is heavy. Like I never thought these shoes would be that heavy when I first won. These mugs is heavy. They feel like boots. But they good. They a good styling shoe. And yeah, you wanna wear these? Definitely get some jeans or some shorts. I don't really tell. I know what? Never mind. Scratch that. Wear them whatever you want to wear them with. I just wear them with jeans mostly. All right, y'all. That's going to do it for the shoe collection video. I'm currently filming some more videos. I got a boxing glove and a hat collection video going on. So if y'all want to watch those too, those going to be out real soon. And yeah, if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe for more. And we're going to catch y'all in the next one. Oh, no. Got too many people watching me. Bye.